I did my tribe on the Great Lake tribes, and it was about the first inhabitants of the Great Lake Basin arrived about 10,000 years ago. And um, they had crossed the land bridge from Asia or perhaps or perhaps had reached South America across the Pacific Ocean. And 6,000 years ago, this des descendants of the first settlers were using copper from the southern shore of Lake Superior and had established hunting and fishing communities throughout the Great Lakes basins. And one of the ways that the Indians would manipulate Manipulate copper was with hammer stones. These hammer stones were found near prehistoric copper diggings in the Keweenaw, I can't say that word, peninsula. They are prehistoric tools used 3,000 through 5,000 years ago. The Indian miners would build a fire over the rock, then they would pound out the copper with rock hammers and stone chisels. These hammers usually had a handle attached to them. Some hammers were held with the hand, hand sand were not grouped. Some hammers were held with the hand sand were not, and they were not grouped. When they broke, they tossed them aside. Grooves were put in the hammers with smaller stones. The hammers are found today underground anywhere from six inches to three inches. It is hard working. It is hard work digging for them. The copper was shaped into spear points, arrowheads, knives, harpoons, and jewelry. The Native, Amer the Native people occupied widely scattered villages and grew the three sisters called corn, beans, and squash. Their modes with pots produced corn, beans, peas, squash, and pumpkins. The Indians used only a portion of their holdings for crops and so caused few lasting changes in the countryside. The great concentration of population considered almost perfectly with the area of deciduous forest. This is a picture of the of the of a canoe. I mean, a, of a ho, a hogan or wigwam. Most Native Americans in the Great Lake region lived in hogans or wigwams. And this is a picture of the teepees. And the Great Lake tribes also lived in teepees. And this is pictures of arrowheads. They're not the best ones I drew, but I was trying to hurry last night. And they're, um, the, the archaeologists often find their projective points and arrowheads in dedicated sites where they hunted or camped.